Hi guys, so before we dig into the video, I just wanted to give a little disclaimer that I am not claiming to be an expert on the case that I am talking about. Uh, everything that I talk about are things that I have been able to find on Google as that is the only resource that I have at this time. Uh, also, on I think three different occasions, you will hear my six-year-old daughter call for me. Please ignore that, I am so sorry. Um, I'm new at this, not a professional, so I just ask that you please bear with me and um, just try to look past that, but thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoy the video, and um, thank you. Hi guys, so before we get started, I just want to talk about Anchor. If you haven't heard about it, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. For one, it's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership, which is awesome. It is everything you need to make a podcast in one single place. So, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hi guys, so I'm just going to talk about a short little case that I found interesting. Um, it is actually an ongoing investigation. Um, the trial date has been set for 2021, but um, no one has been convicted yet, so we'll see. But the person I am referring to is Sheila Keen Warren who was also known as the Clown Killer. So, we'll start off with the victim, which was Marlene Warren. And, let's see. On May 26, 1990, investigators said Marlene Warren answered her door at her home in the Aero Club community and was greeted by someone in a clown costume carrying flowers. The clown opened fire and shot Marlene in the face. And although investigators had their eyes on Sheila Keene since that day, the case went cold for years due to lack of evidence. Sheila Keen Warren ended up marrying Marlene Warren's widow, Michael Warren, triggering speculation that they had been having an affair at the time of the murder. However, Mr. Warren denied having any extramarital affairs when investigators questioned him on the day of the murder. The case went cold, um, and the cold case unit at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office reopened the case in 2014. Authorities arrested Sheila Keen Warren in Virginia in September 2017 after new DNA analysis tied her to the killing. Now, there was also, um, back in when she was shot in 1990, they had been looking at her since then. Um, let me give you a little bit of, of uh, gossip here. So, Michael Warren owned Bargain Motors Incorporated on North Dixie Highway in West Palm Beach. Marlene would spend her days managing rental units she and her husband acquired during their 20-year marriage. Now, the search for the killer had focused 100% on the then 27-year-old Sheila Keene, who worked for Michael Warren repossessing cars at his auto dealership. And detectives learned they likely had been having an affair because they report, were reported to take long lunches together. And Michael had begun paying Sheila's rent when she separated from her husband in January of 1990. Uh, on the evening of the murder, workers at West Palm Beach Costume Shop called detectives and reported a woman who had bought a clown costume and makeup, orange wig, and a red nose two days earlier. Two store clerks picked Sheila Keene from a photo lineup. 
On top of that, clerks at Publix, less than a mile from Keene's home, identified her buying flowers and balloons about 90 minutes from the killing. So, detectives also learned that Sheila Keene had once went to Pahokee Auto Parts store, where she was a regular customer, but she showed up dressed as a clown on one occasion. Um, so, Within one week of the murder, detectives searched Sheila's home and found fibers of a bright orange wick. Similar fibers were found in the getaway car, which was ditched in a grocery store parking lot at Okeechobee and Royal Palm Beach Boulevards. The car had been reported stolen from a car rental agency and was later linked to Michael Warren's car dealership. Even so, with all of that evidence, the case went cold. Terry Barbera, a spokeswoman from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, said they needed probable cause. (laughs) So, I'm not sure about you, but to me, it seems like all of that was, I mean, yeah, it was circumstantial, but it's pretty probable cause, if you ask me. So, you know, they reopened the investigation in 2014, um, and they conducted additional DNA analysis and re-interviewed witnesses. It was then that investigators learned that Keene and Michael Warren were married and operating a restaurant in Tennessee. So, you know, who was Marlene? At the time of her shooting, Marlene had a 21-year-old son, Joseph Aarons, from her first marriage. He was in the living room when the doorbell rang. Aarons was the one that told police he saw the clown walk away and flee in a Chrysler LeBaron with no license plate. At that time, Marlene was married to Michael Warren, obviously. Um, Marlene was from Mount Clemens, Michigan, and managed the duplexes and apartments she and her husband had acquired during their marriage. Marlene and Michael had been married since 1972, and for Marlene's 40th birthday, Michael had surprised her with a red firebird. She also had a son named Johnny Aarons that died in a car crash about two years before her murder. So, in June of 2020, Palm Beach Circuit Court Judge Joseph Marks scheduled the first-degree murder trial of Sheila Keen Warren, who is 56 now, to begin April 9, 2021, according to court records. The trial had previously been set for January and then moved to May, and now it is set for um, June and 20, or I mean, I'm sorry, April of 2021, because they were originally seeking the death penalty, and now they have taken that off of the table. So, I just thought that was a crazy case, just a short little little case that intrigued me. Um, I just kind of want to hear you guys' thoughts. Like, I'm, I haven't read anything that says that Michael Warren could have been in on this, but... I'm just wondering if it was a plot between Sheila and Michael to kill his wife. But according to everything I've read, it seems investigators are pointing the finger solely at Sheila. I just find it awfully suspicious. Um, But I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. And um, thank you so much for listening. Hope you guys have a great day and stay safe. It's a bizarre world out there.